we were embedded in this landscape and it's our cultural duty to care for country and look after our native fish species. We're out here on the Dakoyela, on the Goulburn River, just out of Shepparton, on Yorta Yorta country. You know, coming out in the country today, we have three generations. It's a great environment for our kids to grow up in. I'm a leader and a mentor for women in recreational fishing and boating in Victoria. It's what I love, it's what I'm passionate about. It's really a mental reset for me. So if I've had a hard day at work or, you know, I'm struggling with my mental health, it's not about just the fishing itself, it's about getting into nature and the environment. Particularly this part of the waterway, we get uh, Gunnuka, the crayfish, small crayfish. You know, we don't get many of that species here. Yeah, they're, they're important to the ecosystem. There's quite a lot of reasons why these species are facing extinction, and a lot of it's got to do with, you know, how we've managed the landscape over the last 250 years in Australia. The natural waterways in southeastern Australia have been altered drastically. Introduced species added on top of that is the effects of climate change. Climate change is real. You know, we've had two years of floods in this country here. Uh, sick country at the moment. We all feel it as a community, and um, we're in the stage of flood recovery now and trying to get back on our feet. So we lived through the 2019-2020 bushfires. That decimated a lot of our fish up in the northeast. And our first big rain event caused a mass blackwater event. So the fish couldn't survive. My eldest son actually said to me, Mum, this has got to be one of the saddest things I've ever seen. And it was. We might be at risk of losing this species if we don't take that responsibility. If we lose them, what are we going to show our grandkids or, or our young people? They were used to be here, but they're not there no more. Humans have done the damage, but we can still make it right. Yeah, so this morning what we're doing is we're doing some electrofishing. It's where we use a, basically a battery to put power into the water and it stuns fish and we can collect them. We were looking for um, some threatened galaxids and collecting those for brood stock and we want to get those fish back into a hatchery setting, develop breeding uh, technologies and uh, methods and then we can re-establish populations of these really threatened species back out in the wild. The 10 in 10 program is a program that's basically a, a bit of a stretch goal and what we're trying to do is take the really critically endangered and we're trying to move them a step further away from extinction. We've got 10 species that over the next 10 years we'll be focusing on. The, the southern purple spotted gudgeon helps maintain our waterways by you know, keeping things like mosquitoes and, and waterborne bugs in check. It was functionally extinct in Victoria until about 2022 and a population was found in a lake up near Kerrang. They're not any less important than the biggest species that we like to catch. Like uh, the Glenelg freshwater mussel, which only lives in a few spots down in the, the southwest of Victoria. Glenelg mussels have a really specialised life cycle. That's really challenging to recreate. The baby mussels, they need to hitch a ride on the fins of the native fish, and they sit there for about three to four weeks before they drop off and then start growing. Without other key species, and especially native species, uh, within these environments, we just won't be able to reproduce them in captivity. There's some really, really critically endangered uh, galaxid species that are, you know, at imminent risk without some, some active management. There's a lot more than 10 we want to work on in the long term, but the first 10 is the backbone of what will be the conservation hatchery. So the, the exciting thing about this new conservation hatchery is it's being set up uh, almost exclusively for conservation purposes. So I think it's a brilliant idea to have a purpose-built hatchery for natives. It's really critical that we do have a place where we can have those species and we can um, bring them back to country and, and restock our waterways. Uh, the conservation hatchery is a specialised bespoke build. I hope they see it as a sort of pioneer building. We look back and we're proud of that we, we made a decision back then to do something. We're so glad we did it. You know, we made a difference to these species. Yeah, so we've got a population of 300 crayfish we're releasing today. So there'll be 150 going into the Little Murray 
and 150 going into low, Lower Goulburn. Yeah, there's no better feeling than getting to that D-Day where you're you know, packing everything up and all that hard work by you know, not just yourself but the entire team comes to fruition. So the hope would be that we would see these populations actually thriving. Um, we'd see them overtaking the, the pest species and, and coming back to numbers where we once previously saw them. That really simple thing of identifying the problem and what we want to do about it can galvanise people. Lots of different government departments, lots of community groups all working together is what's needed to recover these species. And when we combine all this goodwill and effort with the ongoing work that we're doing to restore waterways, it really makes us confident that we can return these animals safely back to the wild. We were able to reintroduce Macquarie perch into the Kudjuwal Creek and they haven't been there for about 70 years. When we released the fish, there was schools that came, there was angling clubs, there was land cares, there was local farmers rocked up in their tractor going, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> so, you know, um, and we're like, oh, we're stocking these fish and this is the story. And they were like, that is so cool. Makes you feel really proud that you can, you can be part of that as well. They're the kind of things that really make me excited for our future and what we're doing and why we're doing it. Oh, it feels good because, you know, I come out with my grandson and that was his first trip out on this part of country. And for him to help release those little, little uh, cralings, it's, it's unreal. It's, um, it's what it's all about. It's, it fills my heart. It's our duty and responsibility, everyone's responsibility to make sure that we do have our native fish species in our waterways for us to all enjoy.